Hi there, my name is Jacob. I'm an engineer at Bitfinex, and today I'm going to be showing you how to execute some of the natively supported algorithmic order types in the Honey Framework user interface. So this is actually video two of the series, and if you haven't watched video one, please do go back, as this does show you how to download the software, install it on various operating systems, insert your API keys, and get up and running. But without further ado, here I am in the Honey Framework training terminal. So the user interface of the training terminal is really crafted around the concept of executing atomic and algorithmic orders. I have my order book, I have my trades panel, I have my order history, I have my candles, and I can actually add whatever components I want to this screen and fully customize them. If I want to shrink my order book, I can. And if I want to enlarge my trades, I can. On the left hand side though, this is what we're going to be focusing on in this video, and this is the execute order tab. And under here, we have two core order types. We have the atomic orders, and we also have the algorithmic orders. Now, the atom atomic orders are the kind of common supported order types, and most exchanges will implement most of these, um, if not all. And these usually consist of limit order, market order, stop order, stop limit order, trailing stop, fill or kill, and immediate or cancel. And these are really the core order types supported by Bitfinex. Now, unique to Bitfinex and unique to the Honey framework, we also have algorithmic orders. And algorithmic orders are fully customizable orders that you can completely code yourself in Node.js. And you can fork repos and, and build these yourself and implement them into the Honey framework UI. And what we have here below are some of the default orders that we have built into the Honey framework 3.1.1 release. If you're coming back to this video in the future, you might notice more order types added down here, and that's because we're constantly adding more as, as users request them. Um, and we, we currently support MA crossover, accumulate distribute, ping pong, iceberg, twap, and order creates OCO. And in this video, I'm just gonna show you how to execute a few of them, uh, mostly the ping pong and the iceberg order. Now, if I click on the iceberg order, I'm kind of presented with this order form, and this is where I can set the different variables for my uh, iceberg order and my different algorithmic orders and, and different algorith algorithmic orders you'll notice have completely different um, order forms layouts so the iceberg order is a an order for large traders people with with large buy orders or large sell orders and um, a lot of the time if you're if you're trying to buy like a, a lot of say say like a thousand bitcoin you, you might not want all of that to to appear in the order books and, and scare traders and create some kind of market impact so what the iceberg order will do is it will create a series of slices so separate your order into into slices um the initial order will kind of be like a small slice that sits in the order book and the the second part of the the, the, the rest of the slices will kind of be hidden from the order book uh, but will still execute as the price falls into that order. So say for example, I'm an Ethereum here. And if I want to buy some Ethereum at $426, I'll add in $426 of the price here. And let's say I just want to buy 0.1 Ethereum. Um, the slice amount, so this is going to be the initial slice. I'm going to set this to just 20%. And what this should do for me is it'll create a, a buy order with 20% of the order sitting in the order book and the rest of it hidden away. So if I create, if I click submit here, so you'll notice down here, we're getting an indication that the iceberg order started in Bitfinex. And if I head to my algo orders tab, here I have a little description of the, the currently existing algo order. Um, it tells us that it's executed on ETH USD pair. And it kind of gives us a description that I wanted to buy 0 0.1 at 426 and the different slice sizes. So the excess is 0 0.08. And if I head to the atomic order, I'll see that this actually created a series of limit orders in order to fulfill the iceberg. Now, Bitfinex Honey Framework is actually built natively into bitfinex.com. So if I come over here to my trading account where I'm actually signed in on, on bitfinex.com up here, and I'm signed into my, my current Bitfinex account, I'll also see that these orders are executed on the interface. And we even have a nice indication of the, that it's an iceberg order and that the Honey Framework is, is connected live. And if, if, I, if I look at this description of the order, you can see that the second leg of the iceberg order, the 0 0.08 is actually hidden from the book, which is, which is nice. And if you look in the trade chart, you'll see that only 0 0.02 is actually showing in, in my, in my uh, open trades. The rest of it is hidden away. So, 
I'm going to go and cancel that order here and also cancel my atomic orders. Secondly, I'm going to show you the ping pong order. Now, the ping pong order, uh, let me pull up the chart just to kind of give you a better description of this. So a ping pong order is kind of used for trend trading. Uh, let's say, for example, I've ad identified a trend that the price is going to stick between these two trend lines here. So I think, for example, the price is going to come down and maybe go back up to this trend line and then straight back down to the bottom trend line. The ping pong order is a powerful tool to help traders trade in between these two uh, trend lines. So what I can do with the ping pong is I could set my ping price at the bottom trend line, my pong price at the top trend line, and the as the price moves in between them, it will trade in and out. So what I can do here, if I come back to my user interface, in fact, actually, let me show you also executing this from the Bitfinex.com side. So since I have the Honey Framework application running locally, it is actually communicating with my Bitfinex.com web server. So I can actually, if I come into the order form here, you'll notice that I actually have my algorithmic orders and my ping pong orders here in the, the left-hand side of the, the user interface. And I can actually execute the orders directly from just inside the Bitfinex.com user interface as so long that I have this Honey Framework UI running in the background. So what I can do is say, for example, if I wanted to execute this ping pong trade here that, I, that I've drawn on my chart, I can say that I want an order count of two. Actually, this would just be a single ping pong order if I wanted to order once. Um, so say if I, my, my, the bottom of my trend line is, is 427.90. So I'm going to set my ping price to 427.90. And the Pong price is up here at 434.40. And I want to buy 0 0.05 Ethereum. Now I can actually preview this order too. So I'm going to click preview. And this will give me a description of the different orders that I could possibly execute. So here you can see that there's a buy order at 427.90. And a Pong to follow, meaning once the buy order is executed, and a sell order of 0.5 will also be 0 0.05 will also be executed at 434 and that's kind of the pong pattern and if i execute this order you'll notice that my buy order is created at 427.90 and once this is executed if the price does come down to the bottom of my trend line it will place the sell up at the top the ping pong order is, is actually quite flexible and what I could potentially do if I wanted to is I could create a series of orders. So I could say that I want to keep trading between these trend lines. Um, so I could set the order count to five. And then I could specify the minimum ping price, the minimum maximum ping price, and also the pong distance. And this will kind of create a, a constant series of, of five ping pong trades. And if I really wanted to go for it, I could actually tick endless, which means that this will constantly just keep trading between these two trend lines. And I can also cancel the orders here in my Bitfinex.com user interface. And this will stop the algorithmic orders. Okay, so that was just a brief description of the Honey Framework executing algorithmic orders. In the next video, we're going to talk about various market data pages and potentially the strategy editor and how to code your own uh, algorithmic strategy. So keep tuned for that.